This is tutorial 11, how to set up a vector cut for laser engraving, and I'm going to show you how to accomplish that using both methods. Alright, to start off today we're going to want to set our plate size, so our origin selection set to upper left is okay. We'll set our orientation to landscape, and we'll set our width and height to 5 inches respectively, and then we can go ahead and click OK. So for this lesson we're going to want to create some text to work with, so we'll go to text tools and select frame text compose. And our font set to Arial and font height and everything else look okay, so we'll just go ahead and input our text. So for today we'll just enter CAD link and we're going to do it twice, because there are two methods to doing this. Okay, so with that done we'll click outside the plate area and we'll want to go to layout and select ungroup, because we're going to want to work with both pieces individually. So with that done we can click outside the plate. And let's start with CAD link on the bottom. Um, so for example, one, we're going to want to go to Shape Tools and select our Rectangle Tool. And uh, don't be alarmed, I'll bring our text back. I'm just going to go down and uh, assign a rectangle and an invisible fill. And with that done and the rectangle selected, we can now move to our Stroke and Fill Tools. And we'll select Line Style, which opens the toolbar at the top. So we'll just want to make sure that Hairline is selected. And we'll assign it the color red. And with that done, we can click outside the plate, and that brings us to the end of method one. So for method two, we want to select the text on top, and we're going to want to go to the engrave menu and select contour cut, which opens up this toolbar at the top. Um, so we'll just set our corner styles to round corner. Uh, we'll set the offset to 0.1 of an inch, and uh, for this example, we'll leave it as color blue. And with that done, again, we can just click outside the plate, and that brings us to the end of method two. So now we're going to want to set up our output device, so we'll go File, and select Print. And for today's example, I'm using the Venus Engraver, so just bear with me, or if you have it, that's great. Um, so we want to go to Preferences, and just double check that Plate Area and Print is shown on screen are both selected. And then we can go and click on the Printer tab again. Um, now we'll want to go to our setup, so we'll want to make sure our mode setting is set to black and white, and we'll also want to set our pen speed and power settings for this example. So for black, yeah, let's just leave it at 100% uh, each. Um, red, let's make it 75 and 75. And for blue, let's make it, uh, let's make it really low. So let's go with uh, 2, if I can get it there. There we go. And we'll go with 2 over here as well, a little bit too far. And we'll just want to make sure that uh, both raster and vector are selected. And we can go ahead and click OK. And finally, you'll just want to make sure that the print preview window uh, option is checked so that we can get an appreciation for how our file will look when we output it to the engraver. And with that said, we can go ahead and click OK, which takes us to the print preview window, and everything looks fantastic, so we can just go ahead and click print, and that brings us to the end of this tutorial.